So what's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be reacting to um, History of the Entire World, I guess, by Bill Wirtz. By the way, it has um, some language in it, so if you're um, sensitive to swearing, you should probably just click off. Last one and click off. Now let's go. Hi, you're... We're on a rock, floating in space. Pretty cool, huh? Some of it's water. Fuck it, make sure those of it's water. I can't even get from here to there without buying a boat. It's sad. I'm sad. I miss you. See, already it's language. A long time ago, actually never, and also now, nothing is nowhere. When? Never. Makes sense, right? Like I said, it didn't happen. Nothing was never anywhere. That's why it's been everywhere. It's been so everywhere, you don't need a when. You don't even need a when. That's how every it gets. Okay. Forget this. I want to be something. Go somewhere. Do something. I want things to change. I want to invent time and space. And I know it's possible because everything is here and it probably already happened. I just don't know when to start. And that's exactly where it started. Yeah, it has to, it has to start somewhere. This kind of looks like all little nations throughout the world. I lost it. I think there's a universe now. What's it made of? Oh, it's so oh that's a thing. In a place. Don't like it? Try a new place. At a different time. Try to stick together because the world's going to get bigger and empty. But it's not empty yet. It's still very full at about a jillion degrees. Yeah, I think what happened there, um, I'm not as good as astronomy as I used to be, but I think what happened there is that everything was hot, and then it started to cool down as more asteroids hit it, as more stuff hit it, and then hit that, and it made it a little more cold, and... Uh, that's actually what the moon was created. Happily uh, married in groups of three, called a proton or a neutron, and there's something else flying around too. I used to call croutons, which is what you put in salads, protons. <laughs> Join in, but can't because it's still too early. The radius, the protons and neutrons are now happily married to each other. It's only going to double up. The radius, the neutrons have now joined in. Congratulations, the world is now a bunch of gas in space. But it's getting closer together, and it's getting closer together. And it's getting closer to go. It's stars. Your shift just got made. Some stars burn out and die. Bigger stars burn out and die. It makes some brand new, way crazier shit. Space is space, which allows newer, more interesting stars to be made and then die and explode. So now stars have more stuff around them, like rocks, ice, and flying clouds, which can make some very interesting things. Like this ball of flaming rocks, for example. Yeah. Another ball of flaming rocks, and it kind of made a mess. That would suck if life was there. It would have sucked if lo we had life um, on the pla on Earth when it was um, raining asteroids. Temperatures today and the floor is no longer lava. Okay. It's raining. So they're flooding on Earth. The entire world is there's like an ocean. What? So things are like in the ocean. Oh cool, like a plant or an animal? No, a microscopic speck. It pops at the bottom of the ocean and wants chemical sap, which is being served hot and fresh, made from an orange space. Is that it pops at the bottom of the ocean. Oh cool, like a plant or an animal? No, a microscopic speck. It pops at the bottom of the ocean and wants chemical sap, which is being served hot and fresh, made from an orange space. It remains left over from when it was raining cakes or whatever. Oh yeah, and it can do that. It has secret instructions written inside itself telling it how to build a little wood of its own. So that's pretty nifty, I would say. Are you looking at the bottom of the ocean? Right now, you can eat some wood. Using a revolutionary technique, you can convert sunlight into food. I'm gonna talk more when it's history related. Side effect, now there's oxygen everywhere and the sky's blue. Then there's might have been a snowball for a while, maybe even a couple of times. It's a sponge, it's a plane, it's a worm, or some other types of world strange water boats and strange fish. It's the game Wow, that's animals and stuff. But we're still in the ocean. Hey, can we go on land? No. Why? The sun is a deadly laser. Oh, okay. Now the animals can go on land. Come on, animals, let's go on land. Don't I don't think. Walking. And there's no food yet, so I don't care. Yeah, that. Okay. These um, animals won't come. Wait, was that a hundred million? Here's. Okay, we learn to walk if there's plants up here. Maybe. Set some bones. And fish. <laughs> 
Let's get back to this. Okay, so I can go on later, but I have to go back in the water. Why don't you use it? I was already doing that. There's a stronger egg to put water in. You have a baby on land in an egg. Water is in the egg. Babel in the egg. In the water. In the egg. Works for me. And now everything's huge. Including bugs. Want to see a map of the land? Sure. Stuck. Now everything's dead. Just keep it. You're the survivors. Keep your eye on this one because it's about to become the dinosaurs. Here's another map of the land. Yeah, broke apart. Don't worry about it. It does that all the time. Mm. That kind of looks like it's gonna shape into um the world, other than um a new ocean and a um a big or a new um thing. Yeah, it's still kind of. I believe these are, this is the first, um, this is the first human society that ever happened. Mesopotamian size society, I believe. I wonder if anybody else is. I wonder if anybody else is doing it. Literally, after the world is doing it. First civilization, Mesopotamia. That was a, a nation on the um. Tiger sent the Freddy's River, um, because then a lot of society, a lot of civilizations popped up on the rivers, and, um, because the rivers were on, um, were fertile, more fertile than, like, if you go into the middle of the Sahara Desert, you will probably not have as much farming as someone which would have been in the Yangtze River. Yep, I believe this is the Yangtze, Hanksy, something like that. This is the yellow, I believe. Or maybe this is the yellow and this is the Hanksy. This could be uh, the Indus River Valley, Tigris and Euphrates and the Nile. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, the horse is probably being tamed. Why is all my metal so big and lumpy? Tired of using lean, sad metal? Introducing the horse being with special from the far lands of Tinland. Tinland looks like it's from Britain. I don't know, my dealer won't tell me where he gets it. Also, guess what? Wheeled cavalry might be is probably the most effective weapon at that time. I mean, even today, if you have no guns, because at this point they have no guns. Um, imagine having a wheel horse, and then the horse just runs over you. It could it cause some serious damage to you. And did I mention <laughs> YouTube music is a music app with personalized mixes for whatever mood you're in or activity you're doing. Whether that's working. Yeah. Babylon, Elam, yeah. Heard of those. It's the people with the horses. Wait, is that a serial? Maybe because it's in the middle of the east. Yeah, Katie. It's the people with the horses. And they made an empire. Another copycat then, this is kind of, um, this is way later in this timeline, but, um, the AK-47, you probably think from video games or something like that, that there, that was an American, 
um, invention, but it was actually a Soviet invention. Well, so they copied that, even though the copy, the um, Soviets copied the nuclear weapons. Mostly done by Cyrus the Great. This was Persia, I believe, at its greatest extent. Even though I believe they had parts of India. Um. Yeah, they were. This was the biggest, most successful empire, and it was, I believe, bigger than Rome, bigger than Macedonia, which Macedonia was bigger than Rome. So yeah. Um. The reason why it was bigger than Macedonia, even though Macedonia was defeated it was because some nations at the time um, broke away from it and the mass this um, lasted 200 years the Macedonians lasted like 10 years so that's a big difference of timeline but every empire crumbles Ah, oh, the Buddha was just enlightened. Who's the Buddha? This guy. Who sat under a tree for so long that he figured out how to ignore the fact that we're all dying. He told me that time this. Most China just broke, but while it was breaking, Confucius was figuring out how to have good morals. The Greeks just had the idea of thinking about stuff. And right over here, Alexander just had the idea of co-creating the entire group. As I was saying, Alexander, um... An empire. Yeah, but he died from conquest. Um, he actually, yeah, he actually died from conquest because he moved too much. It's a great idea. He was great. And now he's dead. Hopefully the rest of the game will be able to share the empire. Alexander the dead. Oh, so Lucan. Okay, he says get the hell out of here. Will you get the hell out of here if I give you 500 gold and some good things? Bye. Come on. That's the Tamil Kings. No one conquers the Tamil Kings. The Tamil Kings. Watch this, man. Then the, then later, um, then later the Portuguese um bought the spices, but because like this whole area of like this whole South Asia area, um, ASEAN, India, and stuff like the Indian subcontinent, stuff like that, um, and like Oceania. And stuff like that um, had a lot of spices. Like the main reason why the Dutch was so, were so successful, and last the Dutch Empire lasted so long compared to other empires, is because they actually were one of the first people. They were one of the first. They were the first person to get to Indonesia, and um, colonize it and control the spice routes. And after controlling the spice routes. That really um, set the game for the Europeans, and they had to pay money for it. And the reason why the colonial is, and also, so the reason, because the Ottomans um, blocked that way. So good yeah. morals is their main philosophy. Actually, they have three main philosophies. Sanu. Let's check the Greekification levels of the Greekified kingdoms. Greekification over there. Bai sent the Parthians. Bai sent the Jews. Bai sent the Parthians, taking over the entire place. Bai sent the Romans, taking the entire Mediterranean. As I was saying, this one's really big, even. Um, so, yeah, this was more valuable land than um, any other. Than any other empire. Romanian for breakfast. Thanks for invading our homeland, said the Jews who were starting to get tired of people invading their homeland. Ah, everything's great, said some guy who seems to be getting very tired. When was that? The Romans eating the entire Mediterranean for breakfast. Thanks for invading our homeland, said the Jews who were starting to get tired of people invading their homeland. Everything's great, said some guy who seems to be getting very popular because they were arrested and killed for being too popular, which only makes them more popular. You can make a lot out of this. Want silk? Now you can buy it from China. They just made a bag. Yeah, see, um, th 
this is um, the trade routes I was doing, the Strait of Malacca, one of the most important straits in the world. Um, sadly for the Dutch, the British also got a hold of that. Religion to the entire southeast. That's a good place for an epic trade. Long stick. Has anyone populated Madagascar yet? Let's do it together. Still can't cross the Sahara Desert? Try camels. This is at the Ghana Empire selling lots of gold. It's like, hi, I live in the Roman Empire. Yeah, the thing about the Ghana Empire was um that the Ga modern Ghana is right over here, and the Ghana, like right over here, and the Ghana Empire doesn't even touch normal Ghana's um, borders. I think it's because um, France already claimed all of this as the French West Africa, so then the British, when they wanted to... Um, then the British, when they had Ghana, um, wanted to have a good name for it, so they decided, or they wanted to have a, um, you know what I mean, they wanted to have a, um, they wanted to have a name, and the only name they could have thought of is Ghana, because it's pretty close to Ghana, so that's how they moved, or at least I think. So the Ghana Empire selling lots of gold? That's like, hi, I live in the room. No. Actually, okay, sure, said Constantine, moving the capital way over here to be closer to his body. Don't worry about Rome, it won't fall. Yeah, it won't fall. That is, um, not true at all. There's the Gupta Empire, not Chandra Gupta, just Gupta. First name Chandra. The first. Yeah, Mexico City, I believe at that point was the biggest and it's still the second biggest city in the world. Um, only following by Tokyo, Japan. Great job, Gupta. How's India moving? How's China? How's those trading kingdoms? Let's Korea has three kingdoms. Japan has a kingdom. It's the Sunrise Kingdom. The real God whispers. The real God. Rasidun, um, the Umayyad, Rasidun, and Abbasid caliphates were the biggest ca were the biggest countries by far. Hold on, even I believe the Abbasids also had like all of this, and the Umayyads also had this Arabia too, Iberia as well. The Roman Empire is long gone, but somehow the Pope is still the Pope. Plus, there's a. Uh, I wonder if there's room for more. Here's all the wisdom. It's the Baghdad House of Wisdom. Oh, I see what they did there. I wonder if there's room for more. Let's bring stuff to the coast and sell it and become the Swahili on the Swahili coast. Send the Swahili on the Swahili coast. Look at this type of space. You have to go through to get from here. So, of course. And then Sar Sar remains like I cannot accept that and act in so normal because he said to the Pope that he should get it and then the Pope's like, Okay, denial, just take it and then he's like, No, give me that. It's broke their kingdom until what will later become. So this is gonna be called the Holy Roman Empire. There's also Middle Frank here too. I mean, this is France. Oh, France and not France. We're the Northerners. Just the worst of the Arctic Ridge town. Are exploring. They go north, from the north to the northern north, and they find some land, two types of land, and they name them accordingly. They also invade some other places and get called many names, such as Vikings. There's the Rus, the Kamen Rus. Are they Vikings? I don't think so, said the Kamen Rus. Okay, fair enough. The Pope is ready to make some more emperors. 
Empire. The Holy Roman Empire. It's actually Germany, but don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. I can't even tell the kingdoms. Which brand would you like? Mine's better. Mine's better. Roman Catholic, Eastern Orthodox. Eastern Orthodox at this point had nothing on Roman Catholic. Mine's better. Time to conquer England, said William. It's a bird, it's a plane. Yeah, it's a sound of the getting so slow and almost doesn't Wow. I don't help. They need help, so they call the Pope. Hey, Pope, can you help us get rid of the Celtics? They can take back the Holy Land on the way? Come on, I know you want to take back the Holy Land. Yes, I do actually want to do that. Let's do a crusade. So, they did many crusades, some of which almost didn't fail, but at least the Italians got some sweet trinkets. I think the first crusade actually, um, was a success. Goodbye, Toltex. Look at those mouths. There's the Pueblo. I always wondered how to build a town and a cliff. Guess who's here? Oh, where? Here. But Colin is there. Vietnam unconquered itself. Korea just became itself. And Japan is so addicted to art that the military might have to take over the government. China just invented bombs and typing. And the Mongols just invaded most of the universe. Nice going, Genghis. I bet that would last a long time. Yeah, I bet that would last a long time. You cannot. Is the Persian nation, Golden Hearts, the Kazakh nation, Sanitai is the um, Uzbek nation, I believe, and Yuan is the Chinese nation. Some of the Islamic Turks were unaffected by the Mongol invasions because they were busy invading India. Is it Tonga time? I think it's Tonga time. I just found out where the Swahili gets all their gold. Look at this chain. Means like there's an empire there. The king of Mali is so rich he's going on tour to let everyone know. Wow, that guy's rich, everyone said. The Christians are doing a great job reconquering Iberia, which will soon be called Spain and not Spain. <laughs> also, by the way, um, when Ma Mom Samusa was um, going to Egypt, he spent so much money he inflated the whole currency. Remain Christian. We will check in later to see if you're still Christian when you least expect. Whoops, half of Europe just died. China's back, yay. They claim time to share their kingdoms here and there. Look who controls all the islands. It's the Mapuche. 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 Oh, Italy's ready. Right. Which time for them to care a lot about art in the ancient classics? I don't like how people are. Here's a printer. Let's make books. So you're thinking, oh, art in the Byzantine Empire? Yes. created the Mughal Empire, which was basically an Afghani nation, which the Tamarut were an Afghani nation, so Afghanistan, um, at the greatest extent, was the Mughals. Magnificent, magnificent. Get it because it's still name on the magnificent. What if Russia was big? Said Ivan, trying not to be terrible. Portugal had a drink. They controlled the entire Indian Ocean, including the Spice Trade. And then that drink was real. And Spain realized that this is not India, but they pillaged it anyway. Damn, said England and France. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Then the Dutch revolted and all the hipsters went to Amsterdam. Damn, said Amsterdam. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Question one: Can you get to India through North America? No, but at least there's paper. Question two, steal the spice tree. That's not a question, but the Dutch did it anyway. Sure. Guess where all the sugar's made? In Brazil. Don't mind in the Caribbean. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, she's all in, um... Here's 
where the Portuguese were a little bit ungrateful. So, um, Portugal lost Brazil to, um, the Dutch, of course, it said that in there, um, and what happened next was that, um, the Iberian Union formed, and then they, um, and then they got, Spain got the, um, Brazil back, Brazil back, um, so, and then Portugal left the Union. Guess where all the sugar's made? In Brazil. Stolen in the Caribbean. And it's so goddamn profitable here. We forget to do it. It's the number of to do this just to get bigger. Britain and France are having a friendly discussion about who should control the entire world. More specifically, all of them. Then it escalates into a seven-year discussion, giving Russia a chance to show Austria who's boss. But what about Britain and France? Did they figure out who's boss? Yes, they did. It's Britain. Guess who's broke? Also Britain. So they start taxing the hell out of America. Thank you, says America, declaring their independence and fighting for it. But is that they start the taxing the hell out of America. Yeah. It was actually, uh, I accept 1776 as an American answer, but it was also could be considered at 1775 since that's when the first military was, um, was made, and that's when there was basically... Now France is broke, and Britain will have to send their prisoners to the Look at the air. 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 The
Oh yeah, the Roaring Twenties, and it looked for Americans that the economy would keep going up, then it goes down. Car and drive to a party and listen to jazz on the radio and go to the movies. The economy's great and it'll probably be great forever. Look, oh no. Oh no, look, you see this? Just kidding. Germany's back featuring the angry mustache model. Wait, what? The economy's great and it'll probably be great forever. Just kidding. Wow. Germany's back featuring the angry mustache model. Yeah. Or escape to Argentina. And probably do a lot of Yeah, it works because the British doesn't want to be uh, saved. The two Pakistans, one of them could be Bangladesh later. The Jews and the Arabs finally figured out which one of them should live in the Holy Land. And they both said at the same time, let's divide up the land so everyone's happy. Look out, China. There's a new China in China. What's on the menu? Communism. No thanks, Cynthia. Why? Look out, China. There's a new China in China. What's on the menu? Communism. No. No thanks, Cynthia. I'm trying to escape into an island. I wonder which one is the real China. The Both of them are the the Nobody minds that it's on pause forever. Let's meet the sponsors. Oh, it's the two global superpowers. They're having a friendly debate over which economic system is good and which one is a global virus or sicker. Yeah, they both have animal bombs. Wait, wait, no, that will be the end of the world. Well, Let's just keep it cool and spy on each other instead. And make sure we have an amount of bombs. And race into space. Now let's make some more countries fight themselves. Europe is tired of pillaging other countries. Some countries they were pillaging are tired of being pillaged. So here's a new map with new countries. Now you can't tell who they're being pillaged by. The United States finally decided whether racism was good or bad. It decided it's bad, and the world agrees. South Africa might need another thing yeah. to think about it. Let's check the world population. What? It was really the same from okay. 1000 to 20. Technology's better too. That might keep happening. The Soviet Union decides to relax a little and accidentally falls apart. Europe makes a union, so now they can all use the same money, except Britain, because they don't feel like it. Let's check the mail. Surprise, it's on the computer. Oops, someone just attacked America. I bet they'll remember that. Boom call. Surprise, it's in your pocket. Want to learn everything? Surprise, it's on the computer. Now your phone's a computer, which is in your pocket. Whoops, the economy just crashed. Don't worry, the big banks won't fail, because they're not supposed to. Surprise, flying robots. With bombs, want to print Some people have no friends. Some people have no food. The globe is warming. Let's save the planet, said everybody, not knowing how. Let's invent a thing inventor, said the thing inventor. That worked. Let's save the planet, said everybody, not knowing how. Let's invent a thing. 2028. Thing inventor, said the thing inventor, inventor, after being invented by a thing inventor. Let's not 28. 28. See you guys.